Authorities stopped a suspected drunk driver for going the wrong way on a stretch of I-80. Authorities say that's just one instance of alcohol on Nebraska roads, something they hope you'll think twice about, especially this holiday season. Here again is KTV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich. Again, keep your head still, follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you know your limits? I had about five or six beers. It's an important question every time you drink. You're going to turn around and take nine steps heel to toe back down the line. But it was the question of the day at this law enforcement wet lab on Friday. Six, seven, eight, nine. Chris Matthews was one of the volunteers who agreed to have a few drinks and then hand a set of keys over to police when he thought he was too drunk to drive. He was the last one to turn in his keychain. Um, and he was correct. He was right around five drinks in there. Um, he, uh, he wasn't at our per se limit yet of point zero eight, but he was pretty close. Then it was time to try and start this car. If the interlock's in the vehicle, that vehicle's not going to be driven by somebody that's intoxicated. At the end of the day, the volunteers got a safe ride home and a sober reminder by the fire department of what can happen when a drunk driver gets behind the wheel. It's more of a graphic assessment of what happens. This is a real deal. One, two, three. For the volunteers who threw a few back, it was a lesson to plan a ride before you drink because sometimes you can't trust yourself, and less is more. I think it's kind of surprising to know that if you have a few drinks, you're a little higher than what you think you are. Nicole Goodrich reporting. Now, today is also the kickoff for Nebraska's You Drink, You Drive, You Lose campaign. Between now and the first of the year, law enforcement will put in more than 9,000 extra hours on the roads.